So the Met Gala was last night here in New York. They call it the Oscars of the East in terms of fashion and you know, uh, the celebrities being out. The theme was heavenly bodies, fashion and the Catholic imagination. A lot of people were offended, even Catholic people. <laughs> were Jewish people offended, Suzanne? You know, I'm not offended, although some of the outfits are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also not a practicing Jew-ish well, well, person. I used to be, right, I've, I've gone. Then you married the Catholic. Yes, and so everything And he brought you all the way down. <laughs> well, I, I must say, um, I thought the outfits were hella ridiculous, most of them. We'll talk as we go on. Um, Chris, Chris, dear. Let me start by reminding you that I always say she's so beautiful, but she's 62 years old. I was surprised that she's actually dressed like a grandma. <laughs> I don't care who made it, how much it cost. Send it back. <laughs> she was there with her large hip boyfriend, Corey. Oh. Anyway, and then Two Chains proposed to his longtime girlfriend, Keisha Ward, there on the red carpet. Yeah, good for them. They have three children together. This is a proposal probably long overdue with three kids, but guess what? Guess what? This got watered down by the fashions. Two Chains, you tried to make an overture at a big place, and it got under the, as a matter of fact, Hot Topics is probably the only people talking about it. Because people are talking about the fashions and things, you know? Also, I don't think proposals are for public occasion. You know, like, I don't know about you, like, I don't want a big party for a proposal. And I got one of those. <laughs> and I... No, you will not. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a girl named Wendy whose boyfriend at that time, uh, fiance, Kevin, as a matter of fact, we didn't even go into fiance. We just went to boom or something. Anyway, I thought I was getting a truck, no lie. <laughs> no lie, I wanted a new truck. I thought the truck was gonna be wheeled in on the stage. It was at a big place here in Manhattan. Page Six covered it. SWV, Smooth, uh, the, the um, Hustler, Trigger the Gambler, everybody, look, it was the who's who of 90s hip hop R&B and those arms, <laughs> right? Poor girl, but you know what? That wasn't a hug of yay, that was a hug of, oh snap. <laughs> now what happens? I mean, I love you, but why do we have to do this here? Like, I'm not into that. Anyway, um, savor that flavor <laughs> and let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so inside the gala, Madonna did a performance. I didn't know they performed at the Met Gala. She did like a prayer, which is very appropriate for something uh, of a religious overtone for the whole entire evening. She didn't fall down the steps or anything like that. Um, and so that's the performance. And this photo has everybody talking, asking uh, what are these two talking about? It's Nicki Minaj and um, Cardi B and Jeremy Scott, the designer of Cardi B's outfit. Which, by the way, if somebody designs me an outfit, I don't want you to come looking like my boyfriend. <laughs> like, really? Like, I don't want your ego to be so damn big that you can't make my costume my costume, yeah. number one. And I don't really know what they were talking about. I don't really much care. You know, Cardi is pregnant and very pregnant. You know, Nikki is on the comeback of sorts. And Cardi B's crew though, alle alle allegedly uh, attacked a fan later that night. Oh. I'm not showing it to you, but I, I saw it and you know I have a very descriptive mind. You know the cartoons when all you see are feet and hands <laughs> <laughs> and a ball of dust? They effed this man up. 
for what reason, I don't know. They, they're saying that he repeatedly asked Cardi B for an autograph. All right, so you ask once, you ask twice. She's not ready to give it or whatever. The, the, the crew, security, her hoodlum friends, I have no idea. <laughs> they attacked this man and beat the stew out of him. Norman? Can I, I mean, get a what? The stew out of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, uh, lawyer lady, you're not gonna put a ledge up there because we saw. <laughs> she's telling me to say a ledge. Nope. Nope. We saw we, what we saw. That, I that, saw what I saw. That was not alleged. <laughs> yeah. And I am not blind. <laughs> All right, but I'll put alleged here. Allegedly, the victim went to the hospital. Come on, dress. <laughs> lest you forget what's under all this material. Please. You saw what I was working with back in the day and that was a cute girl, not a bad girl or anything like that, but please, I worked hard for all this. Come on now. So the man just laid there. He didn't want to be touched. Of course, he's probably suing for everything. Broken feet, broken back, broken brain, broken everything. And you want to know what? Based on what me and Norman and the Bureau saw, he's going to get something. Yeah, something. I would sue Anna Wintour, Cardi B. I would sue Corey with the big hips. Just cause, you know, I would sue everybody. <laughs> and. You know, um, the thing is, Cardi, I know that, you know, you, you know, you rep your set and that whole bit, but your set is gonna ruin your ability to move forward, more forward and more forward. You know, you, you can't have this, you know, schoolboy crew around you. There's nobody that needs to be jumping up and beating the crap. And I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Norman. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> arms, legs. <laughs> Somebody came up like a wrestling move. Right, right, <laughs> right. One guy ran back and, and then jumped in and boom. Here's the thing. One thing that you have to say about this Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj might have come from a particular, you know, set and whatnot, but Nicki was woman enough and smart enough to polish herself enough to get on that American Idol to get those perfumes out. She at one point had that line in Kmart, I have no idea what she's doing. She's become some sort of mainstream American princessy type thing, not a thugstress threat. And Cardi, you're not a thugstress threat, but your set is gonna get in the way of your moving forward. They're gonna get in the way.